Okay, so NaNoWriMo has begun. And first off, what's what are your thoughts on NaNoWriMo? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think it's the second coming of Jesus? And would you participate? It's like 50,000 words in a month. So give me all your thoughts. Liz. Do I start? <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll just <laughs> always start. But, uh, yeah, I like it because it's that whole idea of, like, getting all the, the suck out before you can start writing good stuff. Um, at least, like, getting your story out there and kind of forcing you to, like, get that story out of you. And that can go either way. But, like, I think of it as a good thing. I've tried to participate. This is, like, my third year of trying. But at the same time, I have school. And so not that it's my excuse. It's my I don't have time for anything else. But in December, I'm going to start trying to do that. So yeah, I think you need to have that space of time to commit to yeah, this humongous really project. Because it is really big. You have to write yes. a certain amount of words every day. And the amount of words, yeah. it'll take you over an Seven hour, maybe two hours. It's it's pretty hefty. So you have yeah. to always be thinking. Do you want to review what it what it is really quick for people who might not know? Because I didn't even know it's, it until like a week ago. It's very simple. It's just 50,000 words in one month. And you write about... 1600 words every day for, for yeah. the month um, and you've got like mm-hmm. a whole community of writers on nanorimo.com and you, you can talk to them you can, you can like yell at each other about how difficult it is you can do anything like that so <laughs> that, that's really all there is to it I mean apart from and meeting other writers and all that it's just write a novel in a month mm-hmm. And a booktube, a lot of people are doing hashtag booktube Rimo, and so that way you can find all the booktubers who are doing NaNoWriMo this month. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they got uh, yeah, hashtags on the mm-hmm. list. Um, I usually go on Twitter and I just look at the feed of all the Nano people. Oh, yeah. Doing it. And, you know, it's just, it's just cool because it's like the one time of the year yeah. everyone's writing. It's all, awesome. s- all suffering together. Exactly. <laughs> and yeah, go yeah like everyone I follow on Twitter seems to be doing NaNoWriMo this year, so yeah. it's just been like feed full of tweets. Things are still going well because it's only like the seventh day right now. So I'm yeah. I'm giving it about a week before it's my Twitter feed is just full of like people crying and <laughs> freaking We're just out. We're I, I noticed, yeah. <laughs> I noticed um, that some people quit on the first day. Like some someone was like, <laughs> I wrote no Come words on. today. I give up. I'm like, dude, are you serious? You could write anything. You could <laughs> literally write anything. It doesn't matter. But no. And then I know people who will write like thirteen thousand words in a day, and I'm like, what? How? Did you just smash your head against the keyboard and just call it <laughs> 13,000 words? Because I don't know how you did that. Uh, like, I know from experience that writing a, a novel is no small task. It's like you, you will oh. usually get about halfway through and then just lose all interest or like you'll just doubt it yep. completely. Like, no matter who you are, it's going to happen. Like, you'll just have those moments where it's like, I can't write this anymore. But you just got to push through that. It's it's really it's really intense, and I personally don't really go for NaNoWriMo because I think it's too constrictive in its um, ideologies. Yeah. It's like you have to write fifty thousand one month. Like you don't have a choice. There's no levels of it. You just have to write that. So yeah, you know it's it's good to get people writing, but it's also good that you don't have to think about writing. But it's mm-hmm. also kind of it's like there's no leeway. There's nothing there. So yeah, yeah. Like, just set your own goals to say, like, if I just wanted to write 30,000 words or 25,000 words, yeah. like you said, like, that halfway point, just be like, okay. It's like, no, you lose if you do that. Mm-hmm. Like, there's no other option. Yeah, there should be, a, a like, a, a level for novella fiction, but there isn't. So, unless you mm-hmm. set your own goals, yeah. th- there's nothing, like, they don't, they don't really support you doing that, which is just bullcrap. You, c- you should be able to do that, but they don't do it at the moment. Yeah. It would be really easy to implement. Does something, oh, good. Does something happen when you hit 50k? Yeah, you get a progress bar, and then it ends, and then you have something mm-hmm. to show off. Yeah, you're really just competing against yourself for bragging rights, yep. basically. Yeah. I think there are prizes, like you get discounts on writing software or something, but um, yeah, it's it's mostly just like a, I did it moment. Right. Um, do you guys know anyone personally that is doing this, and do you know if they're having a hard time with it, or if it's easy? I know quite a few people who are doing it, yeah. and... Um, there's, like, a couple that are, like, doing pretty well, and then one of my friends is like, I don't know what to do with my story, so I haven't written anything, yeah. like, over the past couple of days, and so I'm just like, you know, just, I don't know, keep pressing forward, that's all you really can do. Yeah, um, people at my course, right, I do a writing course, and the people there, 
they don't really do NaNoWriMo either because they're writing novels throughout the year. That's what they do. It's what you yeah. have to do, really. So mm-hmm. um, I, don't, I haven't really had like a, you know, a roundtable discussion of thoughts on how they feel about it, but I just get the feeling that most people don't really do it if they're taking it professionally, like if they want to actually yeah. really get somewhere in it. This is just a way to get that long jumped off thing out of the way. So it's good on the end, but everything else is just kind of, yeah, not so yeah. great. Um, yeah, how do you guys feel about meeting other writers through this? I mean, like they have, right, they have these events on the forums where um, in your local area they'll organise a place for you to go and write your nano uh, novel, but you can also just meet people in general that are writers and just, you know, have a discussion with them and all this. Um, like, would you guys go to something like that? Would you participate in... Even if it's just, like, other people read? Yeah. You know, I'm going to... I'll jump in. I'm going to say that I probably wouldn't. And I hope that this doesn't sound too pessimistic, but jumping off the point that you said, I feel like if you are a true dedicated writer and author you are dedicated to your craft 24-7. And I'm sure there's there's good people out there writing this, but a, a large portion of them seem to be more people who just want to think of themselves as an author or say that they're an author, and you kind of... Uh, like it's like a lot of authors on Twitter that sort of follow you just so that you'll follow them back and you end up getting more tweets about uh, the trouble they're having writing than actual like substance behind like this is the new product I've made so uh, like going to these events to me doesn't really seem that uh, maybe fulfilling because I don't know how many people you'd meet there that are like legitimately good writers as opposed to just hacks for a mean word to use I guess <laughs> Uh, I could see, I was, I was gonna say, I could see if like there was something after that to have like critique groups, something like that, just to kind of see like, oh, yeah, you know, good. because you, yeah, because you've been in that like NaNoWriMo fog for 30 days and you're like, I don't know what looks good or doesn't look good probably. Yeah, that's and a good idea. But yeah, and it's just like, it, cause I've heard of people having like critique groups around their areas and stuff like that. Like, one of my friends, she's a self-published author, and she's like, you know, I have a writing group wherever she lives, and so, um, I think that's a good idea, but as far as, like, getting together with people, like, in person during this, yeah, I feel like it would be distracting, and you'd end up yeah. just chatting about your novel more than yeah. doing anything else. I think that's kind of the point. I mean, you just go to these things to meet other writers. I mean, it's actually kind of difficult, yeah. unless you go to a course, or... Yeah, you know, like how do, how do you meet other That's writers true. in the area? I mean, it's just difficult. Yeah. So this is a way. This is like that. I don't, as I said, I don't personally agree with Nanaroma that you should this should just be about the fifty thousand words. I mean, it should encompass all of writing. Mm-hmm. There's a huge community. There's yeah. like two hundred thousand people involved in this, and you could be mm-hmm. you could be talking about like you go to these things, you talk about your novel, and you just kind of bounce ideas back and forth. Um, if you guys mm-hmm. want to know about this, like a, a critiquing group that talks about your no- novel ideas and all this. There's actually a podcast called the uh, Roundtable Podcast, um, and they just they have they get people on like people who do nano, people who are actual writers, or authors, and they get them to talk about an idea they've got, and then they just like tear it apart. They'll add stuff onto it. Um, that's like exactly I think what you're talking about, except it's kind of just over the internet. So yeah, yeah, it's it's also good. Like you can meet people on BookTube, right? But for me, like I just basically don't know anyone that's on, in Australia that does this. So it's yeah. really difficult. Even if I do know mm-hmm. someone, they could be on the other side of Australia. So it's... Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is good for meeting other writers, in my opinion. Yeah. Apart from that, though. Um, <clears throat> so any last thoughts before we move on? No? I guess... I, I guess to... to I don't know. It, like you're taking, are you, you're taking college writing course right now, or is it like it's, it's what kind of type like of course college, are you yeah, taking? Yeah, it's called. Do you, do, is it like a paid for course? Yeah. Yeah. See, I, like, it, and there's an instructor. I'm assuming that's yeah. teaching you things. Yeah. I I feel like that type of situation. You're just like it's so much better. Like if you, and I'm not advocating for MFAs by any. I don't know because you know. There's something to be said about just, like, factory-produced writers, but uh, if you're dedicating money and, like, a legit schedule to, like, hone your craft and you have an instructor teaching you something, I feel like those are people that are worth meeting because those are people that are dedicated to their craft. I don't know with NaNoWriMo 
Renan Oramo authors like I, I, like are the majority of the people you meet just going to be people who are doing this for a month and then kind of giving up because it was the fun sort of fad thing to do is are those relationships I don't know maybe they will maybe you could meet a few people but I don't know if it would be as good as like say a college level course or a course you're taking where you're meeting people who are really dedicated for years yeah I mean even my course it's not really in my area I have to travel to the, travel to the city for about an hour before I can get there so the people I know there Usually, if like we want to go out for drinks or anything, I still have to travel up there to do that. But this is in your area. It's literally like 20 minutes away. So it's a way to meet really local writers in your direct area, because that's what Nanu does. They kind of shoehorn you into a certain area, and they say, you know, all the people that are there, you know, do you want to meet up? So it's good in that respect. And I do, I do agree that Nanorama is kind of like a like a, a tourist kind of thing where people come along, they they pretend to be authors, you know. But the thing is, the whole point of it is that you're supposed to write it so that you can just get the thing out of the way and get it off your mind. So in that respect, yeah. it's kind of good because it kind of uh, gets rid of all the people that are just pretending. So yeah. in that respect, it's good. Yeah. And just to let you guys know, that we're going to get torn apart in the comments by people who love Nana <laughs> Absolutely yeah. destroyed. Yeah, but it, it, it is a reality check. That's that's the point mm-hmm. I'm getting. Or like That's what I'm getting from you guys. It's just like, it is that reality check. It's like, do I want to be a writer? Would I want to do this full time? Like, not necessarily like writing a thousand words a day or whatever, because you're not always mm-hmm. going to have those days. And not always are you going to force yourself to have those days. But, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. It's, it's really difficult. It's a way more difficult than people mm-hmm. believe it is to write a novel mm-hmm. way oh, yeah. it's a huge commitment and unless you like really just have that deep down urge or well, not urge but like the need to write um, you just it's not it's, first yeah. of all it's not going to be as good as you imagined second of all it's going to eat up all of your time it's going to be like an addiction mm-hmm. by the end so unless yeah. you're prepared for that just do something else that's all I can say <laughs> yeah 